Hey everyone, I don't know if you read the news or maybe have a cell phone and look at it periodically. You know, that thing that gives you the f front row tickets to the worst of humanity. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, there's, a, there's some reasons to be anxious and we can always find them for sure. And actually that's what our brain is looking for because it's wired with a negative bias. Our information comes in through our five senses and goes first to our survival center in our brain. Of course it does, because it's got to determine if we're in any sort of danger, physically, mentally, or emotionally. And then, by the way, that information is allowed to go up into your prefrontal cortex where logic and reasoning reside. See why it's so important to be able to thoughtfully respond with love so we can be making more of our decisions and live more of our lives in our prefrontal cortex. And so please join me next Monday, February 27th at 7 p.m. Eastern. And we're gonna talk about how to turn anxiety into positive action. We know the opposite of anxiety is positive action. And I'm gonna go through a little bit of my story following the murder of my six-year-old son at Sandy Hook Elementary. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that, but more about what I've learned. Think about it, pain really gets our attention and it is a tremendous opportunity for growth. It's actually called post-traumatic growth. So we're gonna be talking about this and exploring it. I'm gonna be giving you a very powerful formula that you can use every day, starting from when you get off the webinar to be able to thoughtfully respond in any situation, circumstance, or interaction in your life by choosing love. So please join me next Monday night, 7 p.m., February 27th. I can't wait to see you there, and thank you for choosing love.